Opposition House Leader. It's an honor to rise today to mark International Firefighters Day and pay tribute to the dedication, commitment and sacrifice of BC's firefighters. This day is particularly special for me for a couple of reasons. The first being that my father is a retired Vancouver firefighter. I remember growing up as a kid in Port Coquitlam and my dad saying uh, goodbye to us and wishing us well. And off he went to work and often that was through the night. Uh, we'd only learn later, and sometimes days later, of, of the dangers that he encountered when he went off to work. Um, our dads are often considered heroes uh, to us for a number of reasons, and I can certainly say that about my dad. Uh, but growing up, the importance of his job and the tremendous risk that it posed wasn't lost on me. Our firefighters run into situations that most of us would understandably run away from. Uh, they risk their own lives, uh, they risk their own health, and they do all of this to protect all of the rest of us. Uh, they set aside their own fears about the dangers before them, and they do what it takes to get the job done. The second reason this day is so important to me is because my riding of Canlo South Thompson in the southern interior has seen its share of wildfires and brush fires that have posed tremendous risk to people, structures, and communities, particularly in recent years. Uh, we have watched in awe as firefighters use helicopters, heavy equipment, and other resources to skillfully battle these massive fires, often uh, right in or near our neighborhoods. At some of the scariest, most panicked moments in our lives, firefighters have been there to keep us safe and to do their best to protect our homes and our livelihoods. So on this International Firefighters Day, let's all take a moment to recognize these brave individuals, and in particular, those who have lost their lives through this line of work as they sought to save others and whose immense contributions are never taken for granted or forgotten. Thank you.